We are Kristen and Michael, and over the past few years, we've embarked on an exciting adventure of buying and DIY renovating our first house and turning it into a short-term rental in Joshua Tree, California. And we've been recording every bit of our journey to share with you, from tearing apart our kitchen, redoing our bathroom. We learned a lot about being short-term rental hosts, and we're here to share those lessons with you, including the do's and don'ts of starting your own short-term rental. So stick with us for some handy tips and tricks, and follow along on our journey chasing the California dream. to the house today because you guessed it we are the backup cleaners still it's been two years now I think this week since we started this whole thing and we are still the backup cleaners if any of our friends on here that are in our area that know where we're at have cleaners that could fill in gaps hit us up DM us send us a text Josh, is that three separate houses Jeez Louise no, I think that's a garage. That's Whoa. insane. There are houses getting built. Like crazy. Who's gonna buy them? Our cleaner is on a much needed vacation. Not sure where she's at, but she will be back. Coming in for the end of the, like during the holidays, she'll be here coming in clutch for us so we can take a sabbatical and be with our families. But we are booked and busy. You guys, we got booked like fully for the rest of the month. Not fully for the rest of the month. Okay, the last week in November, we have like a couple days yeah. open. So, it's good. December, wide open. We got one weekend, I think, booked, and that's it so far. Michael's sister is probably going to give birth like any time in the next few weeks. So, we are doing an early Thanksgiving with them, and we are the backup cleaner all week. So, we're literally just going to like live at our old house with Michael's parents and work from there and pop out here when we have a clean. It's very convenient that it's only like an hour away so we can do that and spend some time with family if you haven't seen us clean our house before that's what we're doing today so people yeah. say that where are your cleaning videos so I, I'm I'm like okay maybe yeah well and we just had in there. we just had a five night stay which is on the longer end for us usually it's two nights one and two nights so very curious to see how the guests left the house fingers crossed everything is okay yeah. Right? Okay. See you in a second. <gasps> look at who it is. It's oh, you look way. so handsome, buddy. Okay, I just did a lap around the backyard. Everything is looking good back there. How's the inside of the house? Looks great. Cleaning crew has clocked in. Hooray! <laughs> Ready to get to work. They left the house great. No complaints. Like, it looks like they even swept. The floor is not, like, that dirty. Hmm. They were here for almost a week. None of my business. Just glad that they paid and they played. So that's good. Let's get to work. We got some work to do. We got about two hours left of sun. So can we get it done before the sun goes down? We have to. We have to. Yeah. Yeah. Like All right. Question. Let's go. Cool. Michael and I have a way of cleaning the house that just works for us. He starts in the bar, I start on the laundry. We pick up the curtains. Sometimes we take them down and wash them if we're doing a really deep clean. That happens about once every six to nine months. But this is just a regular clean. We don't pull up the rugs. I'm doing the laundry, like I said, changing out the bed sheets for new bed sheets. That's how I always start things here in the bedrooms. And then I get to the floors and the surfaces and Michael moves everything from the bar room and then brings it all back in to clean everything, dust everything off. And we sweep and swiffer and mop sometimes. Sometimes it's quicker to swiffer for us. Uh, so that is what we do. And then I move on into the king room. And meanwhile, while I'm doing these things, I'm running back and forth, changing out the loads in the uh, garage and then folding laundry as well. And I didn't want to bore you with all that. So here I am making the bed once again. We clean the mirrors, the windowsills. Michael gets the rugs in the living room. So basically what Michael does is bar, living room, kitchen. I do bedrooms, bathroom, hallway. And that's just how we divide and conquer. Okay, so one thing that I was not able to do last time was to get hot tub cover instructions put somewhere outside. We got them laminated temporarily and I think we're going to place them right here so they're right there so everybody can see them, you know? It's not the prettiest thing in the world but I figure 
It's better than not having any instructions. So when you walk out, it's like, oh, oh, that's where they are. Oh, cool. Sweet. playlist someone's in michael's spotify account michael did you put this song on listen this is a cleaning playlist oh darn i was like someone hacked your spotify and they know we're cleaning no Okay, status report is bar room, done. Kitchen, done. Table with welcome basket, done. We got both bedrooms, done. Bathroom, done. Now, the only thing left is to pick all of our crap up, shake the rugs out, sweep, swiffer, and get out of here. How many kitchen towels did you put out? I didn't put out any. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that right now. Yeah. Be good to our guests. And then we headed back to La Quinta and spent some more time with family and we actually stole a night away and got a babysitter, AKA Michael's parents, and we went to dinner. We rarely do a date night and it was pouring rain out and we just enjoyed just the two of us, a nice dinner. It was so fun. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so I am making the quickest trip ever to the house. Luckily, we've been staying at my parents' house. It's not too bad of a drive. Going there to take the trash cans out because when we left on Tuesday, we didn't want them to be out all the way until Friday because we have got a complaint before when I tried leaving them out all the time. Literally going to the house to put the trash cans out. It's 2 p.m. right now. We have guests checking in at 4. Trash gets picked up tomorrow. This is life. Oh yeah, I made my mustache more prominent. What do you think about it? I'm probably gonna shave it tonight. I don't know, we'll see. It's pretty ridiculous. Who is buying these new houses that they're building? They're building so many new houses here in Joshua Tree and they're like slanted roof, like the modern kind. And I'm like, uh, do people like the way those look? I don't know. What do you guys think of that? I'll try and pop in like a picture of some of the houses. Like there's three being built right there. This one got built not long ago. There's another one up on that hill. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't like them. I feel like there's no soul. There's no soul, you know? You need some soul in, a, in buildings these days. Everything's a box. And end of my rant. Watch me go take the trash out. Oh my gosh, I went in to check on the house and I wasn't filming, but I was like, why isn't the code working on the door? <laughs> oh my gosh, Kristen and I forgot to lock the door behind us when we cleaned on Tuesday. It's been sitting unlocked for two days.
I'm glad that I came here before our guests got here because that would have been creepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, well, it's time for me to get out of here. Our guests will be here soon. Successful trip. And we will be back in two days to clean the place after these guests. The leaves are starting to fall everywhere. It'll be a whole thing when I'm here on Saturday to clean those up, but good trip. Time to drive back. I forgot to say bye to the house. Hold on, I'm backing up. Bye house, I love you king or queen, whatever you are. Be good to our guests and stay classy. I forget what I was doing. I think I was working while Michael went to the house. But then the boys went out and played some golf. We were celebrating Michael's dad's birthday this night. So the guys were playing golf, and I'm pretty sure the girls were, like, napping and laying by the pool while Dawson, our nephew, was taking a nap. So we just kind of had a chill afternoon while the boys were having fun. And then we did a pizza night. Michael's doing his meat lovers pizza. It was a hit. We have this pizza oven. Well, we don't. Michael's parents do. And we utilized it. It was so fun. Who says utilize? Anyway, uh, we made this meat lovers pizza. and It was delicious. It was so fun. And then we sang happy birthday and ate some cake. So one of the things that I like the least about Airbnb and just short-term rental sites in general is their like ability to track analytics. I really love having good analytics. And one of the things that I love about YouTube, other platforms is A and B testing. Cause on YouTube, we can A and B test thumbnails against each other and see which one works better. That's why sometimes maybe you'll see us change it because you know, we were like, oh, you, you know, we thought this was like the main idea of the video, but then like people weren't clicking on it enough. So you can A and B test two things against each other. I really love that concept. And so I was like, I wonder if I can do that with my Airbnb thumbnail. I wondered if maybe we're missing out on some bookings because we're just using the wrong main photo for our listing. You have never looked into the backside analytics on Airbnb. It's actually not that detailed and I really, really do not like the way that they're laid out. You don't have much, like the graphs are bad. I, I don't know. It's just not good compared to overall to other social media websites, social media feeling websites with analytics. I really would love if Airbnb could improve these but how you get them is you go on the top menu, you go to menu and then insights. And then in the insights tab, you can see it lands on opportunities and then you go under conversion and you can see views and also wish list add-ons. So what I did to make my own sort of A and B test was that I took a screenshot of where my, where my average page views and average first page impressions were at. And then I changed the photo the first photo, waited a week or so, and then went back and took another screenshot where I could see, okay, does the photo affect people viewing your page or wish list additions and stuff like that? So that's what I tested out in October, November. And one of the things that we realized, I had three different photos that I wanted to test. One was the one that we have been using, which is of the backyard, the fire pit, looking at the house with an amazing sunset. The second one was an interior photo because I was curious if like colder months coming up, people would want to look at inside. And then the last one was a nice photo of the patio cover, the outside area. And these were three that I just, I just chose. I was just curious. And what we've also done in the past is we've sent out like these three photos to our friends in a group chat and been like, you guys vote, which one do you think would be the best photo for our cover photo on Airbnb? And you, people, it's usually pretty unanimous, like which one people would think. And a lot of people chose that one of the fire pit with the back of the house. Now, I don't know how accurate these results are because like I said, I don't really trust this analytics data. It's just not that clear. We had it up for a week and our average page views were 747 and a thousand, almost a little over a thousand average first page impressions. That was not that awesome. And then we had the the photo of the living room and it was a little better with 1,206 page views and then 1,600 average first page impressions. And so I was like, okay, the, the living room's actually viable. The The last one was the one of the fire pit that we've been using for a long time. And this one seemed to perform the best. This one did have, I didn't take screenshots of them, but this one did have the highest wish list additions as well. We went ahead and switched it back to the our original one 
Other things you can A and B test are your title. We had the name of our house, the seventh ray house in the title. And everybody says not to do that. And we had just had it like that for a while. And it was fine, we we're getting bookings, but we really noticed a difference when we changed the title to reflect more of the feel of the house. So we, we kept that during this, this little experiment. So this is just something that I was testing. I wanted to see if what we were doing was actually working. Um, now these numbers aren't like insane, but I also know that these pictures are not the best that they could be. We really did not get our super secret fun project thing done before the winter hit. And now is not the best time to take photos because the lighting isn't as good. The trees are all dying. Like it's just not, it's just not the move. So we're just going to keep it as is until the spring and we can get actual professional photos taken, clean up the land a little bit so we can get nice drone shots. But until then we're still getting bookings. This is something that you can do on your own. And we've also said we love doing this is we love taking a private incognito page and just seeing where you land on the Airbnb search page. Like, do you even show up? Why don't you show up? Yeah, so this is just a little test that I did to make sure that we were performing the best that we could. And um, it's something that you can do too. I really wish Airbnb had like one day it would be this photo and then the next day it would be this photo and you can A and B test and it would give you like statistics on which photo would be the best, which title, like which description, all that kind of stuff. So if anybody knows a software out there that does that, that would be awesome, but I have not found one. So this is how we're doing it for right now and how we decided on our main photo for our Airbnb listing. All right, now back to the cleaning content. Costco, Costco where the costs go. Yeah. last day that we have to be the cleaners for the house. We are about 30 minutes out from the house. And the reason that we had to go to Home Depot is it is pretty much winter coming up. Yeah, like in, in three days. In the high desert. And <laughs> I'm so grateful that we have to do these cleans because there's some things that I have not done yet to get the house ready for winter. And one of the interesting things about this area, at least where our house is, is when the seasons are about to change, it gets insanely windy. And we have had amazing temperatures. Like we have had- A beautiful fall. It's been 75 and sunny and barely any wind. And usually towards the end of November, it gets really cold. Like 50, 30s, 40s at night. Like it's, it's cold for us Californians. Don't judge us. That also means I need to turn the sprinklers off on all the cactus. All that stuff does not need water anymore. I dialed it back last time we were here, uh, well, a couple days on Tuesday, I yeah. dialed it back, but it just needs to be turned off. We got mulch to put over uh, the roots of the cactus that we just planted because we don't want the roots to freeze. And also we noticed that this morning on our camera, the winds were like violently. Violent. Like crazy winds blowing. So. And so I came up with an idea on how to secure this stupid reed fence. It's still going two years later. Two years later, all the haters said it wouldn't last, but it's only last because I've had to constantly. <laughs> how much it. money have we spent on it? Should we have just got a fence put in? No, we've know? only spent a couple hundred dollars on it. Yeah. Still. I have a feeling that when we get there, it's going to be blown over. <laughs> you think? I think so. The wind was really crazy. <laughs> I'm going to work on securing that first and then I'll move into the inside. Kristen's going to get started on cleaning then I will come in and finish it up. We actually have, Woo! we actually have a really interesting stay. Yeah. Um, checking in tomorrow. We have people filming something. We yeah. thought maybe it was porn, but it's not. It's not, which is great. We don't want that. We were <laughs> worried that it was going to be that. This is the only day off yeah. that we have. We've had people there consistently since Tuesday of this last week yeah and so and then all through next week or this week uh -huh. into the weekend which is amazing November has been a great month we have one booking in December <laughs> yeah <laughs> hopefully that'll pick up too because November picked up like after the first week of November yeah so we'll see we'll let you know how people filming at the house goes yeah like we have we'll to like have them sign an agreement and stuff we'll, we'll keep you posted yeah but a great great weekend with family and we are exhausted but 
We're in the home stretch. Yes, home stretch. Oof. It took us two and a half hours to clean, clean it yesterday. Because of the dog. There was the there was golden retriever. Everywhere. We love dogs, so gotta suck it up. Praying the wind dam <laughs> didn't damage too much and that the house is semi-decent, uh, so we can do it in two hours. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this. The house is really clean? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's go see the damage. What's going on back here? Hammock fell down. Um, that doesn't look good. Dude, oh my God. Glad we're here. I'm wondering, cause it's supposed to get really windy tonight too. Really? And tomorrow? So maybe we tell the people like, hey, if shit's blown over, apologies, but the wind has been crazy. This has never happened before. The wind was really bad. Well, now the real question is how does the hot tub look? All right, we're gonna need a clean. Not bad, but not great. So yeah, it looks like the patio got kind of messed up. So, <laughs> gotta take care of that, like right now. This part is like falling over, all this is undone. So yeah, I gotta fix this fence. This is like on the ground and falling over. Essentially what I have done is taken a cable tie, cable wire, and ran it and weaved it through and around the posts so that some structure to like the fence because before the wind would blow and it would shake back and forth. And now the, the metal fence is secure. Now I'm going to go through and attach the like reed part of the fence to that um, reinforced part. So, almost there. This should give us another, another four months. It's up. This is gonna be probably one of the first things we address in the new year is this fencing area. <laughs> so bad. Now I need to put mulch on the roots of the cacti out back, and then I need to get inside and help Kristen.
You guys, look at this. We had that crazy windstorm, like I was telling you about, and look at the single pane windows, how much dust comes in. Like, that's crazy, look at that. And this is why if you've seen us have, um, have our cleaner send us pictures of the windowsills, it's because on windy days, that happens and it's just, it looks so bad. So, gotta clean those. Ready to go home, dude? Yeah. Bye, house. Bye, house. Love you. Bye, house. Love you. Be good to our guests.